going to have a rough sleep in what's the gap services. <laughs> Whoa, look at all the RVs. Wow. Until you know. get all your cars fixed, no more cars. Okay. Oh no. Now I'm driving in convoy with my dad, and I love driving in convoy with my dad. This is cool, isn't it? <laughs> If someone looked at this RV and really wanted to have it, do you think anyone that didn't have HGV experience could manage to drive it or do you think you need some knowledge? Uh, I think anyone could pick it up if they've got like, the confidence to drive something like this. Really? Yeah. Even with it being left hand and like... Yeah, you'd have to take your time massively. Like, how do I explain? When I first started driving trucks, I started with class two rigid ones like this, for example, because it doesn't bend in the middle, not like an Arctic. And I was always terrified looking at Arctics because they look so much bigger. And I was terrified to go and get my license. And then one day, I just changed my mind and I was like, I could drive that. And I went and got my license and I could drive. And uh, then I looked at these after a few years later. And I was like, I could drive. It wasn't even an issue, was it? <laughs> We never no. even spoke about it, we were just no. like, yeah, let's buy one of them. Yeah. But so, it is good to come from a truck and background in a way. Do you have to drive it differently to like a, a, a car or a camper van, or is it pretty much the same thing, just sizing, like spatial awareness? Or is there like a method to drive in these It depends big how people drive. I always drive using my mirrors more than the windscreen. I'm always looking at my mirrors to position my car because you set your mirrors right, you can see where your car is on the road more than you can when you're looking at the windscreen. Right. So if you do that already, then when you drive something big, you need to use your mirrors to see where you are so you don't hit signposts. Yeah. Or the tail swing on the back so you don't hit anything like cars and junctions, which is very easy to happen. So you've got to always be looking at your mirrors. That makes sense. Tall. Tall! Oh, you're using the truck one. <laughs> Obviously. That's cool. I'm going to drop my phone now. Don't drop it. Does that work? Does it? Oh, yes. oh! That's new. Sick. You can now use contactless on your phone on the M612. Finally. Right, let's crack on. We're going to Burton. No, where are we going? What for Gap services? On the M1. Yeah. And then it's 10 minutes away from uh, LAS Motor Homes in the morning, so perfect. We don't have to get up to it. No. Which is exactly what we like. Yes. And driving at night is just the best because empty roads. Lovely empty roads. Yeah, that's the truck back. That's teeny weeny. Isn't it? Mm hmm. It'll do though. We're only, it's, it's what, midnight, and we're yeah. going at 7, 8, so no, half 8. Not half seven? Half Aren't we going at half seven? Or no, but half eight, we need to get there for nine. Uh... Let's find a nice little spot. Look at this, Lexi's just noticed. We put a new kitchen roll holder up and the drive has unraveled the entire thing. Oh God, I didn't realise there's so much. That is unbelievable. Why? <laughs> Bruno's happy, isn't he? Yeah. You had a good journey, Bruno. You happy little man? Oh, he was relaxing on the sofa with all the blankets there. It's so strange, we're in a service station, what for gap services, and we're just in our house. It's absolutely mental. And I drove here. I love this thing. I can put telly on. I've just been into the services and got some mad drinks from Costa. Uh, mine is like a white chocolate hot milkshake. I didn't even know hot milkshake was a thing. And hers is a chocolate hazelnut hot milkshake. And they were only £4.95 each. I say only. I, I can't believe I just paid that for this lukewarm, weird drink. It's basically a hot chocolate. It's like a white chocolate hot chocolate with hundreds and thousands on it and whipped cream. If you can hear that noise, that's our heating. It's bloody cold. Uh, excuse me. Oh! That stupidly expensive drink wasn't enough, so I've got uh, McDonald's now. Because there's 24 hour McDonald's at Watford Gap Services. They normally close at like 10 p.m. So, I actually quite like it here now. Remember, 
this is 24 hour McDonald's. That will come in handy in the future. It's hard to get food at night in England sometimes. Right, we're gonna go to bed. See you in the morning. Good morning, it is the next day. And we had a rough sleep in Watford Gap Services. <laughs> we are what? It's one minute away from LAS Motorhomes. And I've been told if I go past it, I won't turn around anywhere, so I can't go past it. But we found this new area of roads, all the roads are brand new, it's proper nice. Look how wide they are and fresh tarmac. Can't complain at all. Whoa, look at all the RVs! Wow! So you're gonna have to back up. It's a bit, a bit close. <laughs> The automatic gearbox is great, I've got the buttons down here. It's really strange, but I like it. There's Airstream. Wow. I'm just gonna pull up. Oh, wow, look at the other one. I'm filming. Whoa. Oh, we're gonna have to have a walk around and film all these. Right. Pause. Let's go in. Right, we just dropped the RV off, but I got told I'm not allowed to film in the yard, even though there's some proper cool RVs because uh, he doesn't want anyone's RV to get robbed, which is fair enough. So this is a secret location in Northampton. <laughs> and, uh, and Dad's here now, and we're back in E46, and we, we no longer have a home. I've not been in this since... <laughs> this is so bad. What is going on? Are you okay? Bad. Are you going to kill us? Can you drive? Are you having bad. a stroke? I just set off Bruno, and turned Bruno, around and there. Will you drive that? <laughs> I don't feel safe. Better than your dad. He's <laughs> <laughs> having a bad day. We're on our way to pick up the new car now. Also left on drive. And we will see you there. We're here to pick up the F-150. Oh. Finally revealed. I bought dad's old truck back. Right, uh, I've been here like two hours, it's been a long day this. Sorry Bruno and Lexi, but we're ready to go. Look at the F-150, oh it's my new car, I bought it back. It's dad's old car, it's my new car and I'm letting dad drive it. There's the, the new F-150 that Paul's bought, who has just sold me that, that we sold it to. He's bought a new one. Well, it's only a V6. That one's a V8. It's so exciting. I'm not even driving my new car. I've not driven it yet. What? Jamie should be driving this one. I know. So since it's been sold, since I last drove it. Is he behind it, us? Yeah. Since I last drove the F-150, it's had so much new stuff. It's been lifted. It's got bigger tyres. It's got uh, spaces on the wheels. It's had loads of new suspension components. Uh, new aircon compressor and we just had the aircon gas refilled for the first time in years and the aircon works When we drove that across Spain the aircon didn't work. It was bloody hot and we've lost them already He must be moving his seat or something. I'll pull over it. I thought we were just wait. I was waiting. Kate was right behind us at the gate Walk him <laughs> Nice to one. It looks so big. <laughs> it looks huge. Look. It kind of looks like a Sima truck. Like it's just a giant wheel. It looks scary. Imagine that coming at you. <laughs> it's intimidating, isn't it? And the wheels are ridiculous. Dad, it's left on drive. I know, he's all the way over. He's probably doing it on purpose. Oh, it's so exciting. He said he was really nervous about driving it because of the wobble. Really? I said, are you excited to drive it? And he went, oh, and I was like, is it because of the, what he said about the wobble? And he said, yeah. He said, I'm just worried about going on the motorway with it. No, yeah, he's not nervous. He's not asked. That's not what he said. He's, he's just me, a bit older. He doesn't care. We just drive stuff. We just get in and drive. That's what we do. It's what the beverages do. Have you ever seen me get in something and not drive? I mean, um, you stole this twice have, when you got in it. <laughs> have you ever seen me say, oh no, I'm not driving, that's too scary, or too big, or anything? Yeah, no, not really, actually. I just jump in everything and drive it, and I get it from him. It's 
weird. It's you like said. a strange gift we have. My life's improved so much recently. You know you're not got a seatbelt on. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on now, thanks. I've had a really miserable couple of years, really struggling to get by, and oh. things are finally getting a lot better. Hello, are you okay? I'll pull up a bit. Okay, we'll pull up. So erratic. He's coming flying out or something. <laughs> How is it? That's a lot of stuff watching. I'm uh, thinking of people going through heaven here, so I'm going to go. Just carry on. Nah, I'll be fine. No more, no more buying things. That's the last thing. Say that. Until I get a new, I want another plate for it now. I think <laughs> I until until plate, you even. get all your cars fixed, no more cars. Okay. Oh no. What? Tire pressure light just came on. Next services. Four new tires, and I've already got a puncture in one, and I'm what a day in to have it back. I've got it back and look at the tow bar on it. It's just waiting to have a trailer on it. I'm so excited, this is such a good day. And I brought down the longer thought I'd let him drive it because he absolutely loves that truck. And I think he's having time for his life in there. He's bought a Range Rover, he sold the Range Rover that was on the channel last year, sold that, which worked, and bought it one, one that breaks all the time. <laughs> so he's got a broken Range Rover. And now he's got the F-150 back, even though it's fine. It's, today's a good day. And now I'm driving in convoy with my dad, and I love driving in convoy with my dad. It's just cool, isn't it? Yeah. He's, probably part of, no, he's probably most of the reason I'm into cars. Him and Top Gear when I was a baby. I've been watching Top Gear since the first one. And the previous owner kept the Nürburgring sticker. Yeah, that Nürburgring sticker's from when we went to the Nürburgring and they wouldn't let us on. Video is back on the channel. They wouldn't let us on the Nürburgring. Hi. Hello. Deutsch. English. Registration certificate, please, from the car because of the weight. Oh, uh, okay. So, what do you need? The V5? Get the V5. Yeah. Okay. Maximum 2.8 tons. And all the paperwork's still there, and the paperwork still said Jamie on the envelope. <laughs> it's proper funny. It's done a full circle, it's back. And the guy who sold it, Paul, he's absolutely gutted. And when I sell it again, if I ever do, he has first refusal. Because he has really wanted it back already. I got the, I got the F-150 back. I always said I was going to buy it back when he sold it, and I actually did it. Time it couldn't have been more perfect, really. Look at it, it's a monster truck. Look at it next to the Fiesta. <laughs> it's a monster truck. <laughs> That's my second left on drive vehicle I've ever bought in my life. I paid the deposit for the F 150 about three months ago, and I've been keeping it a secret ever since. So I've been so excited. I finally got it, and I'm not even driving. I haven't driven it since about two years ago. Like genuinely, it's right there and I haven't even driven it yet. We're gonna have to go out in it tonight. Yeah, we're going for a drive later, definitely. Go yeah, pick Bert up. But something. I wanna go out in this as well and do some drifts and stuff. Cause I've not driven this really and I've had everything on this repaired. It's an exciting time in life. <laughs> I'm still happy because I'm driving my Beamer and I've not been driving this oh. for <laughs> We might have just scraped the uh, <laughs> real arches on the tyres a bit though. I've obviously, oh, I've not felt this happy in ages. It's really nice to finally be getting my life back. If anyone has noticed, my videos went from doing some car reviews and some like interesting stuff to just kind of vlogging what I was doing. Because I just ran out of money and everything was awful for me. Like really awful. I was working non-stop and I finally like fixed it all and my life is back and I can start doing some real videos now.
start of continental driving guys and doing some proper road trip videos. Life's exciting again. Can't wait. Yeah. And you're getting an airbag soon. I'm getting an airbag ring in like two weeks. First time in two years. Just don't die on the car. I'm jealous. What am I going? I know, I'm sorry. How is it at 70 mile an hour? 68 we're doing. Pull into a service as soon because Lex needs a wee and I uh, will figure out what the beep is. Okay, Put it back on petrol and see if it goes if you want. That's right, I told you. Listen to it, I'll try to listen to it, Ricky, haven't it? <laughs> Fair enough. I've spent hours driving trucks with beeps constantly going off. <laughs> yeah, I know. Feeling a bit loud on that. So the F-150, if you didn't know, runs off LPG as well as petrol and uh, he's running it on the LPG now, but it's, it's beeping on But I don't think it's the LPG system that's beeping. Oh, it'll be because it thinks the parking brake's on. I know uh... what it is. I know what the beep is, it's because it thinks your parking brake's on, isn't it? It's so big in the mirror. It is absolutely huge. Oh, and by the way, how good is the Z46? I've got a fully straight through exhaust. We're doing 70 on the motorway in sixth gear. And it's quiet. And it's a 2004 car. It's a 20 year old car. And there's not even much big noise or anything. His exhaust is non existent there. He's got no back box and the pipes just hanging off. I'm surprised it's not hitting the floor. What a legend, do has got an MOT? Someone check that, has it got an MOT? And put a comment below. What's the number plate? I can't see it. Uh... N-U-O-6-X-A-Z. <laughs> check if that's got an MOT and comment below. <laughs> If I saw someone filming me, I'd be like, oh, I better do something cool now. And then I'd be like, hold my beer, and I'd just crash into hold the Hold your gear stick. <laughs> hold my gear stick. <laughs> anyway, I've just had a call off the RV inspection place, and the uh, guy said, we, we want to get the batteries upgraded and get this combi unit put in with an inverter slash battery charger slash solar panel input that does everything put in with three new leisure batteries, much more powerful than ours. So I've all that fitted is at least five thousand pounds. I don't have another five gram left. <laughs> but we're nearly home and I got a live recovery on to move a Citroen Berlingo uh, from round where we live near the M58 motorway up to Penrith. And I am far too busy. So Bertolt is gonna go and grab the Touareg because it's already at his house because it's parking by his house. <laughs> so I leave cars there. So Bert is going to go jump in the Tuareg and go and do a job for him. Absolute legend. Thanks Bert. <laughs> I've missed this thing so much. <laughs> oh, lovely UK roads. I've missed this thing so much. This is such a good truck, you know. Oh, it's so noisy. It's going to cost me so much to fuel and drive and use but uh, I love it so much. I've already decided it needs more like road tyres now rather than the knobbly things that are on it and uh, the spacers need taken off and needs basically putting more back to standard so it's more economical for daily use and towing which is what I'm going to be doing with it. I'm so excited to do it. But for now, I'm just on my way back home. I've dropped Dad off. Lex is already home. And uh, I'm going to go back home now and chill because it is quite late. It's been a very, very long day. And I really, I'm really, really tired. Can't even talk because I'm so excited. <laughs> See, because I'm so tired. 
Um, what time did I get up? Got up really early, I went to bed really late. I didn't sleep very well. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. See you tomorrow, or... Nah, I'll end the video there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, comment, let me know what you think, subscribe and all that. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you in the next time. I'm so tired. Bye-bye. <laughs>